Hey everybody and welcome back to an extremely special and important video and I'm not kidding you. I have been making Maya videos for a long time. I made well over a thousand videos. What I'm going to show you guys today is going to blow you away. Really, right? So stick around and make sure you don't miss this one, right? Okay, so we're on the Autodesk area page. We're here because this is an area on the Autodesk website where I create and uh, publish uh, tutorials. And while I was doing so, I was talking to my contact at Autodesk and she made me aware of a tool on the Autodesk app page that basically changed my life, right? I'm gonna share that with you guys and it's gonna blow you away. Trust me, stick around. All right, so we're in Maya, and what we're going to be talking about is how to create ropes and cables and whatnot, right? And you probably know the traditional methods, and I've showed those methods uh, several times in previous videos. And I'll show you those first before we get into the nitty gritty, because uh, then you have the whole spectrum, right? Okay, so let's say you want to create a rope. What you would typically do is go up to uh, create. You're going to go to uh, curve tools. CV curve tool, you click and create a certain path, something like this. You'll hit enter, right? Then you'll take something like a polygon object. Hit control A to open that up. Let's go in, we'll set caps to zero. And I'm just gonna go through this pretty fast because I did tutorials on this. And if you wanna check that out, just uh, check my channel, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna bring it to the start right here or close to anyway. And hit F to frame that, we're going to hit E, rotate that a little bit, and there you go. Then I'm going to go in, right click, go to face, get rid of that, keep only this, right click, go to face, let's hang on, go to object mode first, go to modify and center pivot, there we go. And then we're going to go in here, we're going to right click, go to face, select this guy, shift select my path here, control E to extrude. And then we're going to bump up the division level and let's do maybe, I don't know, 80 or so and boom, there you go. There's your rope or cable. Okay. Now, um, the second method is to go in here. Let's get rid of this in object mode. Yeah, there you go. Get rid of our curve. Second method is to go in and we're going to go to curve tool and see if you curve tool. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Hit enter. And then we're going to go in and instead of uh, creating a polygon object here, we're going to go in to uh, create NURBS primitives and we're going to go to circle, right? I'm going to hit E to rotate that circle, hold on J, flip it up right like so. We're going to hit W, we're going to move it out here, we're going to move it to the beginning of our curve, something like that, all right? And with that selected, we're going to shift select this guy and we're going to hit curves and surfaces and then we're going to go and hit the extrude button, right? There you go. Now, this guy is a NURBS object, right? So if we hit 3 to preview smooth, you see not a lot going on there. So what we need to do first is we need to go in and convert that, right? So with this guy selected, we're going to go to uh, modify, we're going to go to uh, convert and we're going to convert NURBS to polygons. We're going to open up the option box here. You can choose what you want, triangles or quads. You're going to go with quads and then you can choose the settings you want and so forth. And we're going to hit apply, right? Now, right now you have a polygon object inside of a NURBS object. So if we hit W, we can move that out and then we can take our NURBS object, delete that and take the curve and delete that as well, right? Now, both ways are quite tedious. And especially if you're doing this a lot um, and you have a lot of different cables that you need to adjust and whatnot, it takes a lot of time, right? So what I'm going to show you is the tool that we're going to plug into Maya and that is absolutely a lifesaver, right? So let's get rid of all this and we're going to go to the Autodesk App Store. Here we go. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna put the link uh, below. Um, I'm already logged in, but make sure you're logged in. And if you don't have an account, create one, right? But this is the tool that we're talking about here. It's uh, created by uh, Piotr uh, Makal. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's free. And my operating system is Windows. So I'm gonna select that, English language, and I'm just gonna click on download. And uh, I actually 
Okay guys, well it's time for a little sponsor break here and with that I can make any of these videos for you guys so show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. We already did that. So down here in the corner, we have the wire-win64.msi, and I'm going to install this. Right-click, show in folder, and you guys uh, don't need to see that because all my other stuff is there. But I'm simply just going to double-click on that, and it's going to run install. So let's give it a sec. Basically, it will give you this now because I already have it installed. It says repair or reinstall. Uh, let me just do that. Why not? Okay, so it's been installed. We're going to close. And now, simply just if you have uh, my open, just simply restart that. Okay, so that's installed. We're back in Maya and uh, check this out. If we go up to uh, create and we go under wire tools, here it is, wire mesh from curve. Now, you're not going to believe this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to create curve tool, see the curve tool. We're just going to simply click until we have something that's supposed to become a rope. We're going to enter. We're going to go up to create wire tool and boom. There you go. As easy as that. Now, first of all, it saves you a lot of time, but check this out. So we're gonna select this guy, we're gonna go in our attribute editor, and we're gonna go to Wire Mesh Creator 1. Now, right now, I have the option under Wire Profiles to uh, choose this uh, poly, rectangle, or line. So let's see what happens when I choose a rectangular. You'll get something like that, right? Pretty cool. Now, I can also go to Line, which will give me a strip. So I'm gonna leave this at a rectangle for now, right? And then we're gonna go to that tab right here. So the poly has its own tab, the rectangle as well. So I can change the width if I want. I can make it something like this, right? I can do that. Of course, I can change the height as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, the corner radius if I like. So I can go all the way pretty much to spherical or a rounded corner like that. Corner segments. I can do that if I want it more uh, round. And uh, let's see, the corner depth, we can do that as well, right? Okay, now let's say I don't want this, I want the poly. I can then go in here and I have the option, uh, convex. I can change the number of sides. So bump that way up or way down, like this. I can even choose a star shape, like so. And when I do that, I can change the inner radius. So you can create a, a pipe looking like that, right? Kind of neat. You can change the number of sides if you want. And all of that is done in seconds, right? Now let's say you want a pattern. We're gonna enable that. When you do that, suddenly we got five of these because it's set to five. And the pattern right now is a circle. Let's say you got a sci-fi setting where you want cables uh, on top of each other. You can go in and set it in a line like this right and then you can change the distance and so forth so you can change the skill just bump that down and now you have this running together right and then if you want that to look a little bit uh, smoother let's see find the right setting here uh, I think it's it's under steps yeah there you go so you can make that nice and smooth right okay so you got that. Now, um, there's so many things you can do here. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to set this instead of a line. We're going to set that to circle. There we go. We're going to have, let's say, seven. Why not? And then we'll go down here and we'll increase the number of steps to make it look better. 
there you go and then you can go in and you can play with the overall scale like this uh, but you can even go in and twist right how cool is that so that's what i wanted to share with you guys uh, i hope you enjoy this as much as i do i think this is absolutely amazing so uh, check it out let me know in the comments what you think all right well that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.